Oh my goodness, China might win the AI war with this new releases. You see, when ChatGPT 4.0 came out, the internet shook, especially with the Ghibli trend, or VO3, which is currently shaking the internet. But you see, China just stomped the both of them like bugs, especially GPT 4.0, by releasing an uncensored version of GPT 4.0 image generation and a new video generation model, meaning you can edit your pictures or create new ones from scratch. And don't forget, there's no restriction meaning that you can turn a normal photo into an exclusive one to sell on OF, if you get what I mean. And using the video model, you can generate realistic videos that can even talk way better than VO3. My belief is that all repetitive human work that doesn't require the deep emotional connection between two people. Hey there, how are you doing? I hope you love Brain Project. Now these are two different models, and to access to the video gen for free unlimitedly, I'd advise you to watch till the end. Without skipping, cause after the next 10 minutes, you may never pay for AI again. So if you've been frustrated with the limits of ChatGPT or the crazy $200 paywall, buckle up, because what I'm about to show you changes everything. I will also be showing how to use these tools for free, so be sure to watch till the end and do not rush into creating an account yet. Also, if you want tips on how to make money with AI, like the video, subscribe and comment. I want the free document, and my bot will be sure to send it to you. So let's get into it. So now you see, we all know how restricted GPT-4.0 has gotten within the past few months. Now let me explain what I mean, and I'll show you why. Watch to the end to check out the two killers that China just released. Now if you type something like this, and you click on create an image, as you can see, it says it can't create an image of real people. You can see we're already getting held back. Now another restriction is that we can only generate two images a day on the free account. Meaning, before you can even get the unlimited plan, you'd have to actually pay $200 a month. Let me show you. So as you can see, this is the price plan. The free plan can only access the 4.1 mini and you have very, very limited access to the image generation feature. And if you now want to get unlimited access to all the reasoning models, even the image generator and image editing, you have to pay $200 monthly. China just crossed this, and not a lot of people know about this new model. So the name of the model is called Bagel, and this is a GPT-40 killer. We'll still get to the VO3 killer later in this video, but you can see from the go, it says the open source, unified, multimodal AI. Now the thing about this is that you can run it locally, meaning on your device, meaning no one has access to your data, or you can try running it online, which is what we are going to do. But I'll also show you how you can go ahead and study it, because imagine you want to run it locally in order to get full usage and the very first generations. So basically just think of this bagel as the Chinese version of DeepSeek. The way DeepSeek came out, as you can see, you can either feed in an image and then tell it to describe the image for you. It uses a reasoning model and can describe the image, and you can go ahead and give it an image for it to edit. Don't worry, we're going to break down every single thing in this video. As you can see, it's exactly like GPT-4.0, but on steroids, and completely uncensored, no limitations, and it's very, very good. You can also do the time skip effect that was trending at some point, but you can see it's very good. Now you can just scroll down. As you can see, they've introduced Bagel, the open source multimodal model, and it's offering comparable functionalities to GPT-4.0 and Gemini 2.0, which are both paid. And as you can see, it says Bagel can be used for chatting, meaning you can talk to it normally like this. As you can see in this image, it says, tell me about this picture, and it goes ahead and describes it. You can go ahead and even ask it normal questions, meaning it has a reasoning model behind it. Now another thing you can do is you can tell it to spot certain items or certain people in images. Like now, you've got this image here, and now you can ask it, which person is the man presenting the award? And it goes ahead and explains this perfectly. You can go ahead and tell it, describe this photo, and it'll explain it. Now you could also write something down like this, you can tell it to solve for X. Like now, this is a math equation. You can go ahead and tell it, solve for x, and to show that it's a reasoning model, it goes further to actually solve for x, which is awesome. Now it can also generate images. Remember, it's multimodal, meaning it can generate text and images. So here we asked it to generate this image, and it does very well with text, as you can see from this image here. Now for editing, 
As you can see, we've got this image here, and the prompt said, he squatted down and touched a dog's head. And just look at what it provided, which is very, very good. We all know the popular style transfer, especially with the Ghibli style. So we've got this image of the Mona Lisa, and we've got this 3D animator style. Now for navigation, as you can see, it can move 0.4 seconds into the future. And this is what it cooked. It's not necessarily a video, but just a series of images. Then I can also tell it to ask for composition. And if we scroll down further, we can see the thinking feature showcasing their reasoning model. This is just basically the benchmarks. Now I did notice that it keeps Gemini and GPT-40 away from this. But yeah, in this hand-picked benchmark, it does lead all of them. Now to use this, just simply scroll back up. If you want to download it, you can either go to the GitHub, and this is everything, and it contains a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can go ahead and install it on your own system locally. They do try to update this every now and then in the news section, but if you do want to test it out online, simply go back to Bagel and click on Demo. Then simply click on Start New Conversation and give it a name. Then first of all, ask a question to see how it handles normal reasoning tasks. Okay, so now you actually do need to put on language outputs. You can turn on think mode if you want and click on enter. Now in basically no time, this is what it cooked. Remember, we just asked it, who made the iPhone? Remember, this is the reasoning model. Then this is now everything about it. Now let's test out image generation. I'll just type in the prompt. Then I can turn off think mode and click on enter. Now this is what the AI cooked for us in no time, which is perfect. Remember, this is all free without limitations. So now let's test how it does with image editing, just like the popular GPT-40. So here I've uploaded this image, then I'll just say something like this. This is the image I uploaded, and I just told it to make her wear sunglasses. Let's see how it cooked with that. Now boy oh boy, just take a look at what it cooked. As you can see, it successfully added the sunglasses, perfect, with no red glares, and it didn't make the image look AI generated. So if you want to download this, just right click and click on save image as, then simply download this, like that. Now let's try other forms of editing, like the Ghibli style. So I'll just upload another image. Then I will go with something like this. then press enter, and let's see how it cooks. Now boy oh boy, just take a look at what it cooked. Remember, this took way less time than GPT-40 would take. Also, this is completely free, and just look at how realistic the result is. Just take a look, everything is consistent with the background and the original image. You can go ahead and download it. Now let's test one more thing. Let's see if it's good at making something like product ads. So I've got a prompt like this. Let's now test it out. Let's see how it's going to cook. Now I did try that prompt, and as you can see, it didn't quite get it to the point, but it did add the background. All in all, it didn't do a good job on this one. So here we've told it to convert this one into a 3D style, and as you can see, this is what it did. So all in all, it's very very good, actually. Now for the video model, this is just one of it, and it has gotten some major upgrades. For like the video effects here, just simply log in with your Google account. Now don't worry, this is unlimited. You can upgrade if you just want faster generations, but don't worry, this is completely free to test out. So just simply upload an image, then simply select any of the video effects, and make sure relax mode is turned on. Then click on generate, and it's done. And this is what it cooked. As we can see, it did amazing. So let's move on to the next. Now while the previous one had a limited plan, meaning free for a long time, this one is completely free. As you can see, there are zero credits here. If I go to the video generator, as you can see, all of my videos here require just text prompts. Something like this. And as you can see, generating requires zero credit, meaning it's literally free. However, before you go and rush to create an account on this, I do have a video showcasing how you can go about creating a free account with this. Because some people, whenever they sign up, they don't get unlimited credit like this. 
but I do have a video explaining all of that. So even before you rush to create an account, do make sure to check that video out. The name of this one is Dreaming a Cap Cut by the people at ByteDance, and that is actually the same people behind the Bagel multimodal system. This one can also create very realistic images, as well as changing the style of your own images, which is very cool. Like now, this is an example of one of the videos it generated, with of course no prompt, to really test how it understands, and it did a very very good job. So now this model is also perfect at making ultra-realistic lip syncs. Let me show you what I mean, just take a look and listen closely. How are you doing? Subscribe to Brain Project. How are you doing? And also watch the mouth movements. As you can see, it's almost perfect, better than any other one I can see out there. Maybe only View 3 would compare with this. So yeah, it is Dreamina. Make sure to watch my very detailed video on how to get this completely for free. Don't just go and rush to create an account. The link will be in the description, just check it out. And yeah, subscribe for more free AI tool reviews like this.